Hi there, I'm Deb Antonick and today I'm here to show you how to use the uh, new floral bouquet die sets from Stampendous and just in general how to use the die cuts and what the different things that we can do with them um, for our painting projects. They're not just for card making, you can have so much fun with these. I'm going to put together a little project but first off we're going to sh um, learn about how the die cutting machines work, the different kinds of things that we can do with them. So the die set that we're going to use, it works with these three stamp sets from Stampinus. These are in the new January 2022 um, stamp release. And I just love them. They're, they're, they're so versatile. There's so many fun things that we can do. So this one is called Floral Parts. And this one is called Floral Pieces. And this is kind of the first one. I, I like to, building off of this one, because it really was sort of the one that inspired me to go with all the rest, but it does work with the same die set. Everything works with this one floral bouquet cutting die set. And this one is called Floral Blooms. So what I decided to do is use this one as sort of the starting point to figure out how I was going to design and work with all these different, um, all the different, the lighting's getting them, all the different shapes and different vases and stuff. And we're just going to kind of, piece it all together and see what happens. So I've gone ahead and pre-stamped, like I said, so I've stamped, I'm using watercolor to paper today because it's just, we can paint it, we can have so much fun. You can use colored cardstock, you can use um, your favorite scrapbook papers, so many different things, but I, I just kind of want to make a, you know, a fun little project. So one of the fun things I like to do, especially with leaves, is you want to cut a whole bunch. And the die set comes with these little tiny bits, which are like your little flower center pieces and stuff. So in some of the flowers, I've cut two. I've stamped them twice. So this one is for here, and I'm going to use it to cut out the little flower centers because the original stamp is going to go on my surface. Um, here's the little, little, um, little vase. And this sort of got me thinking, and this is another stamp set from Stampendous. This one is called Geo Borders. So many fun things that you can do with it. And I went, well, this is already black and white, so I'm going to use stamp these and cut out a bunch of the little little vases, you know, the little tiny vases and stuff. And this one was just one I was playing with, but actually I'm going to use this for cutting out little pieces too if I want. So pre-stamp pre those. So first off, let's get started. And when we use a die, the dies are little metal, little metal bits. They're, they're shapes. And I'm going to pull one out and show you. And these things are stuck on here so good. But you want that so that you don't lose them all. And they have little tiny ridges if you can see those on here, but there's a little tiny ridge. So there is the, the flat is the top and this little tiny ridge is the bottom. And this is the part that's going to cut through the paper. But in order for this to work, you need a die cutting machine. And I have that right here. Now this, I have a big one because I had a little tiny one, like you can pick up little tiny ones um, from, you know, anywhere from probably $50 up. They're a variety. I found myself in a bit of a problem when I was playing with the, the new slimline dies. They're a lot bigger than the, my little die, die cutter could cut me. So I ordered this. It's a Sizzix Big Shot. A little bit bigger than I thought it was, but oh yeah. So this does a lot of really fun things for a minute. So this plate is where we sandwich the dies into. Turn it inside out. It does come with instructions to sort of tell you what you do need to do. There's the other piece. So you get two acrylic pieces. Then this is just a little sizing acrylic piece. This one kind of goes goes into it's a spacer so it depends on the dies and you'll know when, with the instructions which dies or if you're using a um, an emboss folder. You maybe won't want this one because that's going to make it a little thicker. So it does tell you how to build it. So in the case of the dies that we're using, we need this big platform, heavy, big, heavy thing. It is like half an inch thick. It's huge. And we're going to need this little kind of a little spacer thing because this will make it nice and tight to go through the cutting machine. Then we have two pieces of acrylic. So one piece, this one we don't put on just yet, because then what we do 
is this is the fun part. So we're going to cut some pieces out. So I'm just going to lay down here one of my little one of my little stamps, and I'm going to take my little die. This is a little die, and I'm going to place it right over top. The die will cut out around and leave a tiny border. And you know, it's, it's not for everyone. I think it's kind of cute, especially when you, you know how you put your product project together. And you know, this is great for piling them up and layering them and stuff. But see, when you lay it down, you're going to need a little piece of scotch tape and hope your fingers aren't sticky. So for that, I just have a little my little scotch tape handy. You don't need a very big piece, just a tiny little piece. It's not going to hurt it. It gets cut, it comes right off. Don't want to use anything that's too sticky. So line it up as best you can and then just put a little piece of tape there. So I'm going to sit that one on there. And then I'm going to take my little pre-cut, my little pre-stamped. We're going to do some some of the little vases off of here. Like he said, these are super stuck on here, whatever this tape is. And you can't really hurt it, but I still would be careful taking them off. You don't want to be snapping them, but they're they're pretty pretty hardy. And let's see, I thought maybe that one. Maybe. Let's play around with them. And then so they got all different sizes in here. Very, very sweet. And maybe that just to see. And let's see. Another got a nice little round one here which I think might go. This is the sort of playing with, that one's not gonna go just yet, I think. So I'm gonna put this here like so, because I think I like it up and down. Might do two, because a little one will fit. Down there. So that's all of the, the little, little vases. So I'm gonna stick this one down. tape is always fun. So just line it up where you think you like it. I'm not too worried about the top because I'll probably cover that with a flower. So I'm just going to stick that down like so. And this one's kind of fun that way. Straight up and down. And you can use any stamps or you can just use like patterned paper if you have some really cool patterns. Um, scrapbook paper or colored cardstock. You can do it just paper piecing. You don't even need to use stamps. I thought it was fun to use the stamps. You know, just make it all kind of matchy, creative. You can have fun. And then I want to paint it when I'm done. Whereas scrapbook paper, you can just piece it all together in layers of paper. And it's like a really cool paper project. So I'm going to put this one on here, I think, with the tape. And once it's taped down, it's not going anywhere. And I think, nope, can't get that one on there. So maybe, that's the fun. It's just all the fun it takes to figure all these things out. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, we'll do these ones. So it's all taped down. So it's gonna sit in here. And this one, I'm just gonna cut out of a piece of paper for now. And then we'll see what we can stamp on it after. I got a couple of ideas. It doesn't need to be taped down. If you can tape it down if you're putting it over this over you know a stamped image because you don't want it to move. And then I'm gonna take my acrylic piece and just lay it on top. And it's gonna fit. And then I'm going to move this while I get my cutting machine. There we go. So this now, all this does, it's got a little handle right at the front here, and the sizing for it to fit through here matches perfectly by having the little green inserted piece, and it's designed specifically for these dies. So what you do is you start, give it a little push, you don't need too much, and then it grabs it and it will pull it through. And it'll kind of crackle and snap a little bit, you can hear it a bit. couple of crackles. There. And I'm just going to pull it out. There we go. 
Move my machine. And get this back. There we go. Now it's the fun part. We're going to take it apart. So I'm going to take off my first piece and very carefully it actually will stick a bit mostly because the dies are a little bit sticky. So I'm just going to turn it over and they're going to come apart. Now this, what I like about these, and I was playing around with it earlier, you've got a stencil. So if you wanted to, you could just use this as a stencil. So that's a really cool idea about dies too. You can make your own little stencils. So I'm just going to set that apart. So there's my frame, my first little framed out vase. And you, it, you can see there is a difference between the top and the bottom. And you can see it's slightly round where it was cut out. And be very careful with your with your um, dies. Stick them back on here so you don't lose them. That, you don't want to lose them, that's for sure. And, here. and you can buy little magnetic things for them too. Why is that? All right. Get one. And the little fellas. And the only reason they're sticking in this particular case is because of the dies are sticky. There. And the tape comes right off. So there's my little tiny vase, my first one. Put my die away. My second one. And you can stamp them after you cut them up too if you wanted to. There. Oops. And they go flat side down on the sticky tape. That will store them. But you get magnetic sheets and they work really good as well. And this one, so there's my others. And this one, it's kind of fun there. And put this away. Perfect. For that's for now. And this one. And this one already came, you know, the stamp already had a pattern so there we go so see how it's got a little bit of a border I don't know if you can tell it has a little tiny border but that's okay if you don't like the border you can trim it but I like the border Cut more of those. And then by, of course, the magic of pre-testing everything before, I've got more little leaves already cut out. There. So this is the other stamp set. So this is one stamp set that goes with this one. So then you can use the little other little bits of stamps to add to the, like, you know, add little embellishments. So that's these guys, and then the other one that we did, of course, was this one. They're all stuck to my table. So this one, so it's got some more little leaves and stuff too, so that we can play with. And there's also stems, and I have cut the stems out. I don't know if I'm going to use them because I like having the little, the other little pieces, but you can cut the stems out, and of course, you know, paint them or whatever and then add leaves to them and it's a really neat because it will actually just cut one out on the outside and one out on this side and then the center part doesn't cut so it's really kind of cool so of course make sure at this point that you go back and you put all your little guys away 